been any see no My sorry na sabra but bonnie dear me name I say oh he was meant to be Affect me mentally Renting no be free Yes way Ya tia 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 in my way Tia man fa no sour Dirty life with the living so ye nye be my mommy Hey ya shepherd na va sour Masa fa no sour Hard life with the living so ye nye be my puppy yo Me de woka me tio Me de woka me tio Ghana, I am still in the festive mood. This is Confessions on TV3. My name is Miss Nancy and tonight, if you can see around me, it's going to be something else. The year just came to a close. We've commenced a new one. We've been listening to other people's confessions. You have been having conversations about it and with it in your homes and offices. You, what did you do? It's time for you to share your confession with us. Please send your confession, your contact on these numbers that are rolling so that we'll be able to reach out to you. I am ready to go into the confessions booth. We just commenced the year, but the confession that is coming, uh, when I heard bits and pieces of it, I'm awed. And from my environment and the people in the studio tonight, you should know it's going to be something else. Confessions is brought to you by MTN everywhere you go and supported by Echo Plus. People. seated in the confessions but glittering like a chandelier just trying to make sure that my guest tonight is comfortable i heard it's quite a confession i'm as curious as you are my lady you're welcome to the confessions booth thank you miss nancy here you're supposed to relax you're supposed to be absolutely yourself and let go of everything you need to have the world know that is going to bring you the healing you deserve. Thank you, Miss Nancy. Miss Nancy, I'm a young woman. I got married to my husband five years now. Okay. And we've been through hardship, Miss Nancy. Even money to buy food, we don't get money to even buy food to eat. Mm. Um. The hardship was so much for me that even we couldn't pay for our rent, accommodation mm. and all that. Mm. So one time I bumped into a friend and she was looking all good, you know, in a flashy car and all that. So I was like, how did she make it? Because we all went to the same university. Even Miss Nancy, I was more intelligent than this girl in school. <laughs> yeah. The A students. You know, and Miss Nancy, now this, my friend is, you know, making it in life. Mm. So I asked that she show me the way. My friend actually took me to a place, took me to a certain man. He was a spiritualist. Mm. And the man agreed to, you know, offer me help, mm. but on a condition. Mm -hmm that I'll sleep with dead body, fresh dead body, twice in a month. I mean, you will sleep by or sleep with. It's so like the love, dead body is there. Make love like... with the dead body, fresh dead body, once, twice in a month. That's what is going to generate my money. Wow. Yeah. Hey, I, I have had uh, things on this show. <laughs> you, by me, you've been sleeping with dead bodies, not lying by them, actually having sexual intercourses with them. Yes, Miss Nancy. My lady, you are brave. Yeah, because the hardship was too much for me. Wow. 
So yeah, I've been doing it and then now the money has started coming, I've been able to, you know, buy ourselves an apartment, we live in a good life, I'm in a flashy car and all that. Now we don't beg money or we don't, you know, you don't depend on anybody. anybody. Like people now depend on us for oh. money. My husband got to find out that this is what I've been doing. So your husband found out that you've been sleeping with dead bodies. How? I don't know how. I don't even know how he got to know. Um, I, I think he chanced on my chats with the mortuary guy that I've been talking to. <laughs> you have a connection at the mortuary? Yes, So the person medicine. makes the bodies available for you? Yes, and, and um, How does the person benefit? I pay him good money. Oh, that's also for the services he's rendering. Yes, So Mr. husband Mr. finds out, and what is he saying? He wants to divorce me. And you don't want to leave him? Why should he leave me? Because I, I went into that because of him. We were suffering together, yeah. and we enjoyed the money together. So why does he want to, you know, give up on me now? And I'm not also ready to go back into that hardship. Again. Yes. So I don't know. Maybe I might do something silly to my husband if he should, you know, divorce me because definitely he's going to spread this news to my family members and people are going to know that that's what I'm doing. <sighs> so that's why I'm here. I need your help. She risked her life. She's been doing something I've never heard before, not from my grandparents nor my parents, that a human being has been sleeping with dead bodies. How? I do not even want to imagine how uh, she's able to, because dead is dead. I mean, I'm, I'm sure the thing itself should be dead. But we'll get into all of that. She says, the man doesn't want to have her again, cannot touch her again, wants her out of his home. And she knows that if it happens, she can do worse. If she's been able to sleep with a dead body, Oga, I'm afraid for you. Let's go into the studio. I can't wait to get out of here, honestly. <laughs> Tonight is another one. And people, you heard the confession. A woman decided to wear the pants of a man. The man was not pulling. He was not leading. They were struggling with food, accommodation, everything. And she says, if I sit down, I will suffer along with my children. I'm a mother. I have to do something. And she did. And she went far. And she decided that I would do anything that would put food on our table, clothes on our back, a roof over our heads. And today, she became the wife that was cheating on her husband with dead bodies. You heard her confession. Okay, Hi. so... Hi. Hello. So it's your first time on Confessions. Yeah, yeah, the yeah, name yeah. is? So, my name is Saeed. 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 S-A-E-E-D. Oh, great. I love your beard. It's Thank quite... Uh, Thank you very much. Yeah. Beard gang. Yeah. <laughs> Charlie, the woman. This is she, right? Being broken in a cry is not easy. Yeah. Even... We hear Juma cry, no? It's not easy. No. So my, like my, my question is why initially the guy was enjoying it. Mm -hmm. So why is he backing up? Oh. Uh, because if you've been enjoying it now, is it because you are comfortable now? So like she, he, he, he shouldn't back up. He probably he, he, enjoys um, his poverty rather than the knowledge of living in luxury and sleeping with a woman that sleeps with dead bodies. Um, Have you thought about it? A woman that sleeps with dead bodies. <laughs> I mean, people she doesn't know mm -hmm. who died, mm -hmm. and then she goes... And right now, the, 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 the question right here is, right now, the person is dead. Like the, those... So because she's cheating with dead bodies, no, no, she's no, no, no longer no. cheating. No, 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 no. Like, right now, what the girl is doing, like, the act, the act itself, like, how, how are they doing it? Because the person is dead. 
And that is why we will go to the morgue. We will mm -hmm. get somebody that works with dead bodies mm -hmm. to explain to us exactly what happens. Because she said it was fresh dead bodies and she had a contact. So, Who would call her and have her know that another one just died? Can you come around so, and do so, it? Okay, so when, so when the lady was bringing in the money, the guy wasn't aware? No. Uh, he wasn't aware? No. Okay. Right. To you, my dear. Um, Mr. Nice um, even though she, she tried to bring something home because they were all suffering, I think the woman is a witch. Mm. Because if you're not a witch, you can't, how can you be so courageous to go and sleep with a dead body all in the name of money? The Business things a, a woman of, would do to be comfortable. A lot of people are suffering now, but there are several means, there are other alternatives that you can get money. You can than do this something. one. But will you, will you have to envy your friend to go there and offer you out because you also need money? It's not really envy. According to this woman, even when they were in school, she was smarter than the other one. And how does she <laughs> get this kind of it's life? Is it life? life? Destinies are different. They told us education is the key. But it's not The key probably is missing by now, school. yeah? You can go to <laughs> school. But if you're it's, it's, it's about how you also work hard. Mm. and be focused in life mm. to get whatever. But so you, you don't have to necessarily say that we all went to the same school and I was doing better than you, so I, I need to be the same level with you. It's not possible. One thing we have to know is that life is a choice even mm. though, but how to get there is not what matters, but how to maintain to the, the, the <laughs> top there is what matters. To maintain wealth, to keep being comfortable is a big deal. Ladies, are you with me? What would you do just to keep a man? What would you do just to feed your family? Do you think she went far? Or as a woman, when worse comes to shove, you may do even worse? I think she went too far. Against she her went... own soul, not mm. against the man. And she did it against her own soul. Don't you think that is love, that is sacrificing enough? I don't, I don't know what she was thinking though, but... She went too far. Mm. Like, you, even the relation, if you think about even the spiritual uh, impact mm. on you, as in sleeping with them, you don't know where they are coming from, how they even so died. She and currently all that. has ex boyfriends who are all ghosts. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yes. Because it's, it's really serious. Like, she went that far to, I don't know whether it's love or. You know, ladies can go as far as doing certain things yeah. in the name of love. In the name of love. Yeah. But while you're thinking of that too, you're supposed to be thinking of other effects. Yeah. How it is going to affect your life. Yes. Thank you. So actually, she did that because of love. Out but of love. if I was in a position, mm -hmm. instead of sleeping with dead bodies, the other means... So you would rather choose live bodies instead of dead? No, eh? please. As a lady, in that case, your husband is not working. You are not working. As a lady, maybe she has one or aunt skills. Yeah. Yes, you can apply for jobs. It's better off than sleeping with dead bodies. She thinks that she working hard would be good. But let me ask you, the woman who cheated on her husband with dead bodies and the one who is cheating on her husband with live bodies. Are they any different? A question for the gods. To help us have this conversation is a man known in Ghana who is intelligent, who is educated. He is homeschooled and schooled absolutely. Osofu Kojo Bensel is his name. And whenever he's in the studio, it's another thing altogether. Today, he's trying to overwhelm me by me. And my mother is sent me a guy. So I'm going to have him. Oh. Make you feel comfortable. Also, Fukuto is helping us have this conversation. It's a deep one, it's a spiritual one, and we want to know what exactly happens if I'm finding a room for Also, <laughs> Fukuto. Are we safe? We are safe. Hey! And today, no hack for you. I will greet you from uh, the distance. Uh, you are welcome, nice sir. You look amazing. And uh, you look beautiful. spiritual, man. Ah, uh, because we are in a sacred festival, so. 
Oh. We came out to the festival because of you, all for love. All for you. All for Thank TV you. TV. Thank you. We truly appreciate this. Yes. Osofu Koto Bentol is here, and tonight we're discussing the woman who wanted comfort. She needed luxury, so much so that she agreed to sleep with dead bodies. Mm. Osofu Kojo, is it even possible for a dead man <laughs> to be able to penetrate a woman practically? Um, it depends on the period to which the body, the energy has left the body. Okay. Because every single physical body has memory cells. There's mm. something in our brains called the amandala, mm -hmm. which stores up the activities that you engage in in the day. Yes. So when an individual dies, Mm -hmm. The first few minutes, even to 30 minutes, mm -hmm. the body, the brain cells, the organs within the person is still active and very much alive. Okay. That is why sometimes when you, they put a corpse in uh, the ambulance going to the yeah. morgue, they say that they felt a shake and they yeah. felt something move. move. It's that memory cells in the body that, that is, is still activated. active and still moving. And this is purely science. Science. That has nothing to do with spirituality. Hi. <laughs> Why I like you, so you know? So in that few minutes, the mm -hmm. minute the body is rushed to the hospital mm -hmm. or to the morgue, mm -hmm. it can happen. There can still be an erection. There can still be an erection? Yes. Within the first few minutes of the disease. Oh, wow. It can still happen. But after a period when the, the body is prepared, then everything goes numb. See, I, 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 I so wanted to believe that this confession was um, an exaggeration or something, but no, you are confirming that it, it, it can actually happen. I know of stories that people actually do it. So this is, your platform is not the first time I'm hearing this story. The only beautiful thing is that when they come to our shrine, we say no to them. Whoa. Because there are certain things as a priest you cannot do, even go around a dead body. Oh, certain, so you don't? No. Is it for all priests? For our associate, our family, okay. the Habobo, Habobo. They are What's the name again? Trokovi Habobo. Trokovi Habobo. Our president is Tobu Saji. We, we greet him. And oh, I brought wow. our vice president here. Yeah. Tobu Anochi Re Man, Regards and to <laughs> Tobu and the whole family. Yes. I respect to yes. you all for what you do. So for. there are certain things that a human being is not, not just the high priest, even you, you're not mm. supposed to go around dead body. Hey. Yeah. So if your beloved dies, uh, who takes care of him or her? That, that, you, said, you said if you're. Yeah. So after you've gone around the dead body, there are particular rituals that you have, have to, to do. do but when the person is close. When the person, if the person is not so close, it's none of your business. If the person is not your husband or your wife or your child, you have no business going around the body. Hmm. This, is why why, not? this is why the danger is that. I, I, and I'm not trying to um, come against anybody. I love everybody. Mm. We are mm. all uh, pursuing the same course indirectly. Of course. It's not right for the corpse to be brought in a church setting. Okay. In the church auditorium. Okay. Because the minute you bring the corpse to the church, church, you pollute the entire environment. environment. Any energy that comes to minister, like the angels, the, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit, as you have mm -hmm. it in the church, they all withdraw in that moment. So if any church, any pastor brings cops to their church, they have to thoroughly consecrate the whole place, place for after. at least after seven, for at least for seven days before, before they can they open it up for, it up for church. service. But we have in cases today that Friday or Saturday is the funeral, the cops is in the church. Sunday morning they have church service. Mm. It's wrong. The energies are all withdrawn. The so Holy it, so long as it's not inside the church premises, it's fine. So long as it's not inside the church premises, premises it's, it's okay. It's fine. But once it's in the auditorium, because think about it, you call the place your altar. Yes. Your, your sacred place. Mm. That's your point of contact. Where you commune with the divine. Where you commune with God, Jesus. Yeah. You have that communication. So that is holy grounds. Even in the Bible, mm. it says, told Moses, Remove your shoes. Don't come to this place because you step on holy ground. Isn't it not amazing that a man dressed like a traditional priest is uh, preaching the Bible? <laughs> it's amazing. We're all doing the same job. so it's... I'm sure. So, so the... you were telling us about Moses taking off his shoes. Yeah, because you, you, you're on holy ground. He was ground. standing so on holy ground. You, you, all our family members, the only reason why I'm even wearing with this apparel is because of certain places I had to work before coming. When you come to the shrine, we don't, we don't wear shoes. You can oh, see wow. all my high priests, they are not wearing they shoes. They are not wearing shoes. Because once you go to a sacred grounds where there's communication with the divine, with the creative force, mm -hmm. you cannot, go, your shoes, mm -hmm. you, you walk on that, you walk on leftovers, mm -hmm. certain people pass 
you go to the washroom with your shoes mm. and you come out of the washroom and you right go into your prayer center. So okay. even in your prayer altar, wherever you have in the house, where you have your prayers, there are certain things you shouldn't bring around that, around place. that place. When a person, an individual dies, there's a whole contention going on. Okay. I know a story, real story, mm -hmm. of a man who is over 100 years old. It's mm -hmm. happening today. Yeah. And he's in the spiritual court. Yeah. So physically, he's in coma. But yeah. spiritually, they are deciding whether okay. he fit to transition or, or not, not, based on what he did on earth. on earth. So once a person died, there are a lot of spiritual activities that is mm. happening between the barrier and transitioning from one dimension to another to dimension. Other. So imagine there are multiple energies judging the case of the individual that you are laying in state. Mm -hmm. And you go and in all that same there. environment. <laughs> it's not really advisable. Wow. I mean, yeah, this is great information. I'm sure that the pastors and the preachers, people having churches and they sacred places it. would take notes they of should, this. They should all practice it. Also, for look at this woman mm. who gave herself. Mm. She went out of her way to seek for help. Mm. Is it because the man in question was not manly enough? Because the man is supposed to be the breadwinner of the fa mm. family, supposed to be the leader of the family. Mm. What kind of heart, what kind of... I mean, a strength does this woman have to have gone out to seek for help for her, for her family? Sometimes it's not about the man not being man enough. Mm. I mean, we, like my, my brother said, we're in a crowded economic situation in Accra. It's, it's ridiculous. Right? Rent. Think about it. If a man has four children, mm -hmm. has to pay rent, all the four children are in school, yeah, in has school. to take care of the wife and mm. all of that. So it's, it's, it's not easy. And yeah. let me say this before I continue. Everybody watching TV3 today, yeah. They should pay attention to this information. Okay. 2024, 2025, that's it. After 2025, mm. hunger is going to be real. Mm. The gap between the wealthy and the poor is going to be so wide, right. and nobody is going to be able to bridge it till after seven years. Okay. So the hardship that is coming after 2025 is mm -hmm. ridiculous. Whatever you are doing now, please do it well. Whatever okay. investment, whatever business, whatever you do, do it with honesty and save. Save mm. something. Start having mm. backyard farms. Start mm. creating your own farms wherever mm. you are. Start mm. growing your own food mm. because the hardship is real. It's going to happen. The rich is going to get rich. The poor is going to get poor. It's happening 1st January 2026. Whoa. Pay attention and start putting things Together. in order. So Thank you. That is the prophecy according to Osofu Kojo Benzo. 2026 going forward is going to be wild. This is a good time to work hard and to save as much as you can. Back to the woman's story. So that's what I'm saying. It's, it's not a question. There are certain women that naturally are created to support men. Mm. They exist to uplift the man. Mm. That is how come we came into the popular saying, behind every, every successful man, there is a woman. You understand? So mm. naturally, there are certain women that they just can't help it, but mm. put themselves down to ensure that the man becomes. Yeah. Sadly, our sister didn't have good advice. Sadly. Sadly. So even you as a spiritualist, you think she went far? She should have never engaged. There are basic, basic, basic spiritual rituals that mm -hmm. we can do to help everybody that wants to grow economically. Yeah. You don't have to go that far. The, once you know you, you know the ritual you're supposed to do. Okay. There's no true high priest that will tell you that just for you getting money, mm -hmm. go and sleep with a dead body all the time just to make money. Really? So whoever instructed her to do such a ritual was yeah. pulling from her at the same time. She wasn't no, only... Oh, also, I don't need you to talk because <laughs> if you are asked to sleep with a dead body, yeah. what kind of pulling, baby? Mm -hmm. that's, you, you will not sleep anymore. You will not be normal anymore, mm -hmm. would you? So such situation, we literally have to kill her and bring her back. That's the only how she can break away from this situation. For what she has done. Yeah. You know, she came in angry because the husband wants to leave her. And you say that she herself needs help. Yeah, she needs help. She needs to come out of it. And so we need to do what? In we a need, case like this? We need to do a major ritual to let her go in and come back. Because nobody should play with karma. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people don't explain karma well, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever you do here or whatever you are doing here, mm -hmm. it's either you are here to perfect yourself, you are correcting an error, 
or you are planting something that you'll come back ah, to I, correct. Mm. You understand? So mm. whatever she's doing now is either, is mm. either she did something in her the previous past. life before now, this is the only how she's on this part, mm -hmm. or this niche that she's creating, mm -hmm. she would come back on earth and come and pursue a certain thing that would be a payback to everything she's Mm -hmm. Karma is not just giving you back whatever you're doing. No, mm -hmm. you come back and serve. Whoa. You understand? And Whoa. the energy is behind it because every person has a particular chikra, mm -hmm. a se, right? Of course. And everybody say has an energy that they are associated with, right? So all of us sitting here, there are multiple energies behind us, right. not just one energy. Oh, I feel you guys. I mean, I'm <laughs> tight in my own clothes. Uh, thank you. I hope that the energies you brought is helping me. No, and we are coming to demonstrate life. Uh, 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 right here in my studio. Right here in your uh, studio. People, let me take this break. Eh? <laughs> when I come back, I will put myself together for the energies because <laughs> tonight is another night. Mm. It's actually a very serene environment we are working in tonight. Initially, I was a bit um, anxious, but I'm settling in. It means that they brought in some good energies, right? Oh, yes. Uh, just to make the conversation relevant from all the professionals, we have a spiritualist in the studio. First of all, I would like to say good evening to you, Miss Nancy, and also good evening to your lovely viewers. Uh, with the process, we... It's, it's quite simple. We receive bodies. After receiving bodies, we wash them thoroughly and then place them in fridges. We we'll then tell relative, respective relative to go back, follow up on documents. And then when they come back, we, we take them through due processes, whereby we later embalm them and then preserve the body well. Hmm. Sleeping with dead body. Uh, that's 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 quite that's quite interesting uh, let's take it from a biological standpoint like when you are dead your manhood is also also dead you can't get erection just just bring it let's just bring it to normal life even when you are with a boyfriend and he's not he's not he's not up for you there is no erection so there is it's very difficult for for him to be able to sleep with you let alone to talk of dead cells it's it's it I, I i i don't know what i can say but i to me and where i stand i don't i don't think it's true i wouldn't say i don't think it's true but it it will be very difficult for for that to happen unless maybe the spiritual person in question will give you some power to invoke whichever dead body you want to sleep with for him to get erection so that you'll be able to do that either than that i don't i, I don't i don't see how a normal human being will be able to sleep with, with a dead body especially a female you understand when it's male that one there you can even consider that but female sleeping with a male dead body it's 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 quite mind-blowing it's i don't know how that's going to happen though i would also like to take this opportunity in the bank on some rumors that goes on that relatives always complain that a uh, mortician says they are supposed to pay some amount of money before they put they place the bodies in fridges and all that those are all lies yeah it, it's never done anywhere i hope that you found uh, that uh, information from him relevant for you back in the studio this is a woman that has been sleeping with dead bodies First, her husband says that I want to leave this woman. The knowledge that she's been sleeping with people she doesn't know who are actually dead mm. scares the life out of him. Mm. I cannot live in the same house with this woman, mm. nor even touch her body going mm. forward. I want to let her go. Osofo, can he, he just run? No, he can't just go. Huh? He can't just run because hey. where, where can you hide from God? Where are you hiding from God? Mm. <laughs> Even when you go underneath the earth, he is there. God is there. You go up in the heavens, he is there. So the energy that is behind the money that he's enjoyed all this while, mm -hmm. where you, you think the energy doesn't know? Mm. 
So we have to save both of them, bring them out of that situation, okay. and encourage them to go on the right path. Let them do a job. You see, a lot of people want to have money rituals. Mm -hmm. The good ones, mm -hmm. if you don't work, no priest will do for you. Of course. It's not charm. Even God says that he blesses the work of the our hands. Of your hands. If there is nothing in your hand, which one would he bless? So your we, palms? There's a particular ritual that we need to do for the both of them mm -hmm. to bring them out. We'll first do for the woman, mm -hmm. bring the woman out of the situation. Then now we do the various cleansings for the man and cleanse the whole family so that whatever it is can leave them alone. So, so you are establishing that the man cannot just run and get away with no. it because he's already into it, whether he likes it or not. If he never touched the money, yes. if he never, from day one, he said, as for this, I can't handle. Please, I beg go. We are becoming yeah. too rich. We are becoming too comfortable. I don't know where it's coming no, from. If he spent a single CD, he's already in. In it. Yeah, that's why you have to be mindful who you take money from. Hey. Most of these young ladies, young men, they just want to drive around in a big car. So my mm. friend gave me this. Oh, why don't mm. you give me this? Mm. They are, pay attention. There are certain so-called rich people around mm -hmm. that if you ask them money, they never give you. Oh, yes. But they will buy you all the food. Also, buy you all the I have a friend. He <laughs> never gives me no, money. Why, why do you think he never gives and you the money? And he's super rich. Because you tell me. once they bring the money to you, you spent a CD, you are initiated. And it's something he probably wouldn't want you. And take from you, not just give you, but also take from take you. Take from you. Tap from you. So the minute you spend somebody's money, you don't know where the money is coming from. The so, ritual that brings, we're about to demonstrate. Um, my people can start. We, we well, have to demonstrate. Okay, so <laughs> this is what from his spiritual headquarters should be done for a woman with this situation. Mm. Listen, in, in, in Ghana, we've got great men. Mm. We are always hearing, oh, somebody went to Benin, somebody went to Togo. This is our own Ghana, and we've got great men around. So this is our own. These are you some of the, the things. With us. You brought the energies into my studio. Yes. Uh, uh, please, uh, the prophets and uh, uh, keep the prayers going. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I mean, you people are my friends, right? Also, of course, we is my family. friend. We are family, aren't we? We, we, we? we are family. So, what we are about to do? Yes. We are asking permission. Mm -hmm. Go to the realm of the dead mm -hmm. to sacrifice an offering on her behalf. Mm. So we have to take her through the process mm. of killing her and bringing her back. Like. So when she goes into the death herself and she comes back, she comes back renewed. Yes. Mm, whatever you're pouring, it smells good. Mm. I see. Mm. People. So just watch closely. Everything I is am. live. I mean, we can't pretend on TV3. No, this is TV3. <laughs> this is my show. Mm. And my credibility is at stake here. The credibility of my producer as well. So as you can so, see, you know the bed is alive. Yes, of course. Mm. That's, the, what the, bed is it? A dove? It's a dove. Mm. The prayer has been said. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what, what are they? We're okay. doing the necessary rituals. Hey. Okay. As to call in the necessary energies. Uh -huh. Take it there. Don't bring it here. You said you would not bring it here. <laughs> uh -huh. Give it to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wonderful. Mm. Mm. Asking the necessary energies to come in. Okay. Come and take the offering. Then we'll see what happens. Okay, so what's going on? So we are... Uh, My studio audience today, mm. favor has come to us in the studio in the mm. form of handkerchiefs. Mm. You might as well take advantage of so it. So when you go to church, they give you white handkerchiefs. They do that all the time. <laughs> and we take it gladly. You don't know where Why are you not from? rushing to it? If it was a church, <laughs> you would have taken it. <laughs> mm. Hey! So you see that bed? <laughs> People! <laughs> you saw the head of. You saw the dove. Mm. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Hello! No, hold it, well. hold it. Okay. Hold it. Thank you. Mm. Mm. That is, it, it's actually very beautiful. Mm. The bird, the dove is beautiful. Mm. 
This is amazing. I've as, never seen as you can see, there's nothing anything in. of the sort. <laughs> uh, 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 you guys are perplexed. You cannot even <laughs> clap, right? <laughs> I am one confident woman. I'm actually holding mm. a dove. That was, oh my God. I did that. More we'll give hanky. Please come for it. Thank you. <laughs> it's a blessing. Thank you. So if it's a blessing, so long as I've touched it, I'm blessed, right? <laughs> Wonderful. This is beautiful. People, give it to my studio audience. Give it to all of them. I want them to be blessed. Thank you, too. Thank you. So, Osofu Kojo, mm. this is a ritual that can be done for somebody that was engaged this on, a ritual. unhealthily. Mm. Yeah, I see how he's speaking the God up. <laughs> <laughs> Giving apologies and all. Mm. That's a good one. Mm. So, back into the studio mm. and back to the conversation. The woman in question needs cleansing. And these are some of the things that will happen to her if she comes to you for a one-on-one -on -one consultation. Yes, when you come, we, we, there's so many things. That's what I'm saying. Our ways have been demonized for too long. Our ways. The reason people. why it was demonized is not because it's demonic. Yeah. But it's because they couldn't defeat us when they came to our shores. Yes. So now they needed a strategy to weaken us. Yeah. Because... That was our confidence. That, no, guns cannot penetrate. Knives cannot penetrate. Yeah. Whatever, missiles, we will hold it in the air. Mm -hmm. It won't work. Mm -hmm. But because we had all these defenses, mm -hmm. they couldn't penetrate our shores. Mm -hmm. So now, they had to devise a means to mm -hmm. shut us down so that they'd be weak. They couldn't go to our fathers because our fathers wouldn't listen. Now what they did... The man actually kept the dove behind him, told the dove <laughs> to stay, and the dove is staying. So... <laughs> So what I they, was watching you. So what they did was that they couldn't get to our elders because our elders knew they, were, they didn't make sense. They didn't have any power. Mm. Now they targeted the young children. Go and read your history. That is when they started bringing the children into Sunday schooling. Mm. They started manipulating them, teaching them, polluting their minds against their parents. Mm. So Jesus said, I did not come. F I, who is my brother? Who is my sister? My sister and my brother is the one who is doing so I will Whatever. turn a man against the son, a mother against. This is the strategy they use. So we turn our backs on the very things that protect us, that keeps us, that strengthens us, that makes us succeed. People, I love confessions. I love such conversations because as a people, we need to have options to make the choice. Mm. If you have this knowledge mm. and you still want to remain in the Christian faith, mm. it's your choice mm. and you should proudly do so. Mm. But if you do not know and you just make any choice, that is also not fair. Christianity is all over. It's a good time for us to know other things too yeah. so that people will make informed decisions on their religion mm. and their spiritual journeys. It's mm. been a very great conversation here, hasn't it? Today, Osofu Kojo and his crew, he made you people like what I am. <laughs> so calm. Myself, too, initially, I was having an anxiety, but now I'm awesome. You guys are cool. I love mm. you guys, right? <laughs> you should keep praying for me, for TV3, and for confessions. No, we Osofu are Kojo, you. We are, you are behind me, huh? Behind I believe you. that. I believe that, man. <laughs> Thank you. We're wrapping up tonight's episode, and it's been a very eventful one. Mm. Wow, episode indeed. Mm. And Osof Kojo, what's up with you? What's happening? And then well, let's wrap up the show. Like I said, 2024 is a powerful year. It's a good mm. year. Mm. If you want to succeed in 2024, and if you have the courage mm -hmm. to come around us, mm. we're inviting you to our big Aquacy Day. Okay. It's starting from the 31st of December okay. to the 7th of January. 7th there of January. There are various rituals that we are doing. Mm. But my favorite is the money ritual. Okay. We are doing money ritual for those who are in business. Money are, ritual that you don't need to sleep if, with dead if, bodies. You don't need to, if you are 419, don't come around. Okay. If you are internet froster, don't come around. Okay. If you are genuine and legitimate business person. man, woman, doing a legitimate job, come around. Let's mm. put you in a state where you dominate financially 2024. Mm. Mm. You come back and testify. Money is a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> Money is a good thing. Awesome. Also, of course, we've been working hard, though. So your woman sitting here, Miss Nancy, mm. has been adjudged at the Women's Choice Awards. Congratulations. Woman 
Ooh. in the spotlight. And that's why I'm glittering like that. That is it. And we are celebrating. And next year, we intend to do even better. Confessions God is dominating. Willing. Confessions to dominate. Mm. Where else would you find this information? <laughs> My show is super. It's super, <laughs> isn't it? People, it's been an amazing one. Same time next week, confessions come to you. My name is Miss Nancy. I love you, Ghana. <laughs> Sipping and see no, my sorry na sabra, but Bonnie dear me name. I say oh he was meant to be, affect me mentally. Renting no be free, yes we. Ya cha 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 in my eye, my fan no sour. That he like with the living so he ain't be my mommy. Hey yeah, shepherd never sour, must have fan no sour. Hard life with the living so he ain't be my puppy. Yo, me no come with you, me no come with you. I'm